Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Many of us interested in the ancient world have an understanding of the Younger Dryas event, a major climatic shift that affected the whole world and while some believe that this may have been caused by increased solar output, it is most likely that what we are actually looking at are the effects of a comet breaking up and impacting the Earth. The evidence is building and, in my opinion, it's overwhelming. The Younger Dryas is so interesting because it's a global cataclysm within human memory. But researchers from the University of New South Wales and the South Australian Museum may have discovered another even older event that would have affected humanity. Researchers have been studying rings of the ancient New Zealand kauri trees which record environmental changes over many thousands of years. They believe there is strong evidence that 42,000 years ago, the Earth's magnetic pole switched. So, what does that mean for life on Earth? Well, the magnetic field would thin to a small fraction of normality, causing cataclysmic environmental effects which would have certainly devastated human populations. Solar flares, ionised air, aurora and electric storms would have been frightening and caused a major change in human behaviour. Humans would have needed to seek shelter and I would assume something better and more substantial than a typical house of the day, whatever that looked like. But the scientists believe that the polar reversal could well be the reason why we see a dramatic increase in the amount of cave art at various locations around the world 42,000 years ago. Professor Alan Cooper, who is part of the project, said, We think the sharp increase in UV levels, particularly during solar flares, would suddenly make caves very valuable shelters. The common cave art motif of red ochre handprints may signal it was being used as sunscreen, a technique still used today by some groups. He continues, The amazing images created in the caves during this time may have been preserved, while other art in open areas has since eroded, making it appear that art suddenly started 42,000 years ago. The temporary flipping of magnetic poles, a process that lasts around 800 years, is called the Lachamps excursion, but the specific flip 42,000 years ago is known as the Adams event. The new paper is available now at sciencemag.org and is titled A Global Environmental Crisis 42,000 Years Ago. The scientists noted a substantial increase in the carbon-14 content of the atmosphere at this time, culminating during the period of weakening magnetic field strength preceding the polarity switch. With no magnetic field, our planet loses its effective shield against cosmic radiation. Also at this time, the Sun experienced several grand solar minima and although this means that solar activity was much lower, it also means it is far more unstable with the release of numerous massive solar flares allowing powerful ionising cosmic rays to reach Earth. The devastating effects cause substantial changes in atmospheric ozone concentration and circulation, driving synchronous global climate shifts that cause major environmental changes, extinction events and transformations in the archaeological record. Maybe these people 42,000 years ago were more primitive than those that lived during the Younger Dryas. But they were still human, and by viewing the skill and technique of the art in the numerous caves around the world, maybe they were not as primitive as we may think. Maybe they were simply the survivors. Without a better phrase, in terms of catastrophes in human history, the Younger Dryas is the most popular and most studied, because of just how devastating and just how recent it was. But the Adams event reinforces just how vulnerable we are as a human race. One day maybe humans will all be in caves again, and maybe the only thing we can do to pass the time is draw on the walls. Who knows? But what this study gives us is fresh context for the early cave art from 42,000 years ago. With the findings of the research, we can now look at cave art from this time with a new perspective, and maybe our ancient ancestors were telling us exactly what they were experiencing. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, 
please like the video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.